Hello guys, today we're doing part two of Gina's grocery budget audit. I have to say I was very impressed with part one. I can't wait to go to the grocery store with her. Gina is not able to be with me on this recording. Her family emergency turned out to be fairly significant. So if you guys could please keep her and her family in your prayers, I'm sure they would greatly appreciate it. She did give me permission to go ahead and do the grocery audit without her for the second part. So I'm going to continue on because she has some great tips and ideas to help you save money. Hey guys, we need your help reaching 400,000 subscribers. Would you please hit that subscribe button? If you are loving these videos, give us a thumbs up and a like and hit that notification bell if you want notices on how to save more money. I'm at Aldi now. I sometimes check the ads beforehand, but sometimes I don't. And I just come in and see what's on sale. And it looks like I'm thinking we're gonna get some cantaloupe. Probably get at least two. Um, let's see. I don't know how to tell if they're good. So I'm just gonna get a couple and hope for the best. <laughs> this one looks good. Then let's see. Nectarines. Corn, mushrooms. I don't have plans for these. I'm just gonna buy them. <laughs> Let's see, seedless grapes. Ooh, blueberries. I'm probably gonna get four more of these because it's a good price. Okay, so that is a good price for the blueberries. It's not exceptional, but it is a good price. But if she would get frozen instead, if she buys the blueberries at all these, they're 33 cents an ounce fresh. But if she would get the frozen instead, that's 16 cents an ounce. More than half off, about 55, 60% less by buying the frozen versus the fresh. So I would buy frozen all the time. There's really no reason to buy fresh. I mean, I guess if you're using it like on decoration for a cheesecake or something, but pretty much everything else you can use frozen blueberries, you know, like even if you're just eating them straight, you can just put them in a bowl, let them defrost for 15 minutes. And then they're like a nice little icy treat, but I would not buy fresh. I, I literally, the last time I bought fresh blueberries was 10 years ago when I found them at a discount grocery store for a dollar a pound not six ounces. So when I found them for a dollar a pound, I bought like a hundred pounds. I can't remember. It was a crazy amount and I repackaged them and froze them myself. But that was the last time I bought fresh blueberries. I just don't buy things like that. I'll get the frozen if it's cheaper instead of the fresh. I might get a pack of plums, but I don't like to pay more than a dollar a pound for most fruit. Obviously not true with berries, but Let's see. I'm gonna get some grapes too. They will eat them all. Is it the same price? No. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm okay with that. I'll probably, I might go back and get a second pack. Yes, I will. My kids eat fruit like crazy. I know. So. I know these are more than a dollar a pound too, but I like variety. <laughs> Oranges are $3.29 for a three pound bag. I like to put these in lunches. So I'm gonna get yep. at least two bags because they don't yeah, eat those just are one. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and I need to sniff the bags. I always sniff it to make sure they smell right. <laughs> Okay, so this is a tip that I have never heard of before. She sniffs the, I think the potatoes later on and the oranges. I have never heard of that. That is a great idea because if you sniff it and it, and it smells bad or, or off, you'll know that some of the fruits or vegetables are rotting. So I think that's a great tip. I have never heard of that before and I'm gonna start doing that myself. And they do, so we're good. I don't have any particular plans for the celery. I just like to have it on hand. And I'm out of onions. I'm out of like a lot. 
can grab a couple of those. You're fine. So I like to have one bag extra always on hand. And obviously I ran out last time. Um, my kids snack on apples a lot. Like I think they probably go through a lot of fruit. <laughs> 3.59 for how many pounds? I don't know. Wait, three pounds. I'll get a couple of these. Probably should get like four. <laughs> All right, I'm Chris for the Fuji. They won't eat the Fuji very well, but I like to get the oh Pink Lady because my husband will eat those. I'm gonna get two bags. So those are a little more. Hmm. Relish is on rollback, I guess. I don't know what they call it here, but I'm gonna get one. Because I've got, maybe I'll get a couple because it's the Memorial Labor Day. Two, maybe three. Get us through till the next sale. I might should get four. I'm getting four. <laughs> There's fourth. Ooh, the almond butters got a deal. But, oh, and it's just almonds and salt. I'm going to get, maybe I'll get one. I don't know. Sam's Club sometimes has a better price. But I'm not a Sam's Club member right now, so I'm probably going to get one. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really The watermelons save. are on sale. I'm going to get a watermelon. We had one in the fridge, and it did go bad. And I feel bad about it. Ooh, yeah. tomatoes. Um, these grape tomatoes are my best tomato deal. They're like $2 for 10 ounces for the little tomatoes. And I put them in salads. So I like to eat those. I may only get one. Because I'm the only one who eats them. <laughs> Usually. Unless my kids have them on a taco. I think I'm going to buy the big bag of potatoes. If they smell right. They smell right. So, in they go. That's such a great tip. I never even thought they about that. They have carrots here, but I found that the five pound bag at Walmart was a better deal. Good so, job. I don't usually get them here. I um, also don't usually get salad here either, but I do get heads of lettuce. I, I can't tell for sure if this is a good deal, but it's probably not any worse than Walmart. So, I'm going to get one. <laughs> can't find the sweet potatoes I don't buy them individually I buy them in the bag these are $2.50 and they're about the cheapest here so that's what I figured out with my price book this summer they had some of the best produce prices at Aldi Okay, guys, so comment and let me know. Do you guys actually keep track of your prices? Um, we have a price book in our store that helps people to keep track of prices, but I'm surprised at how many people don't actually know what they're paying for the foods that they buy. And so they don't know whether it's a good deal or not. So please comment and let me know if you keep track of your prices. Compared to all the other places. But their meat prices here aren't as good. That is 100% true. I never, ever, when we lived in Kansas and had, had Aldi, I never bought meat at Aldi. I it just, it was way more expensive than buying it at the regular grocery store on sale. And I don't have specific plans for those. So hopefully they get used up. <laughs> well, I never did find the bag of sweet potatoes. Ooh. Some of the nuts are on discount. Almond, pistachio, I'm not gonna buy it, it's raw, and I'm, I'm not cooking that. <laughs> Ooh, well, those are organic, Never mind. <laughs> I got excited when I saw the red tag. Ooh, salt and pepper. Oh, there we go. I needed roasted salted almonds. That's a good deal, I guess, for almonds. Hmm, I can't think 
Oh yeah, I needed walnuts. I did not see them. I might do these. I don't know. Oop, pistachios. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm actually gonna throw those back in the back. I'm tempted. Cause I like cashews. And they're a good, healthy snack. I feel like my kids overdo it when they're in the really big containers. Yep, I do. Let me pick that up. That's on a good deal. So it's four thirty-nine, and uh, I may use it as a quick grab-and-go snack. Ooh. These have a lot of goodies in them. Yeah, Trail Mix is good. Four thirty nine. Yeah, seems like a good deal. Cranberries, hazelnuts, pecans. I don't know though. It's a dollar eighty five for the whole wheat. I may get. I'm gonna get the other kind. Sorry, that's a dollar twenty nine. Yeah, yeah, that's good for bread. It's cheaper than Walmart. Three cents, but it's cheaper. I'm gonna get like five loaves of that. I may, no, actually four. I already had some. I don't like running out. I'd rather have extra and have to freeze it than to run out of bread. Yes, I agree. Ooh, no, yeah, I do need hot dog buns. Cause I only have one pack of hot dog buns. I actually have two packs of hot dogs, so. Get them used up. Normally I might try to calculate what I'm spending but it's hard to do that and this at the same time. Thank you. I feel like I should get the trail mix. I feel like we'll end up using it. Peanuts, cranberries, and almonds. Yeah, I'll get that. Okay, so that trail mix is definitely more expensive when you buy it that way and instead of prepackaging it yourself. So I would get the bigger ones and then package it yourself. And that'll save you some money. That looks good. Popcorn was on my list. Pardon me. Oh, so sorry. Um, I like to keep graham crackers in the car as a snack for my kids. Good idea. Running errands. They are $2 yeah. for a box. We probably go through a box once every um, couple weeks. Hmm. I thought there was a deal on cheese, but it looks like it's just Colby Jack and that's not the kind we buy. We pretty much just buy cheddar and it's usually cheapest at Walmart. So I'm probably gonna, well, yeah, it's gonna probably be about the same price if not cheaper at Walmart. So I'm okay. gonna stick with that. So it looks like the walnuts are on sale. Hmm, Shelb is the cheapest per ounce. So that's what I'm getting. Also looks like the canola is on sale. I might should get some. It's a good price, but yeah. I have some at home. Eh, I'll get one. Sometimes I can't tell if Walmart or Aldi is cheaper on these because the price fluctuates. So I'm gonna get garlic powder and onion powder. Um, I will say that when I check the prices. Aldi was cheaper, but they never had it in stock when I went. But Aldi is cheaper, but that's where going by the price per ounce and not by the price per container really helps out. I was running low on one of them and I can't remember which one. And I like to have a backup of both. So I'll probably just get two of each. Always good to have a backup. I don't like running out of that. It's like running out of salt. <laughs> you yeah. can't make anything. I Ooh, agree. Peaches are on sale can't decide if I want to buy applesauce in the con squeezable container or not. There is unsweetened and cinnamon and sometimes I'll keep them in the car or sometimes I'll send them in a lunch but I can't tell they add sugar. Doesn't look like it. I don't know though. It's six dollars. Seems pricey. Okay, that is very, very pricey. I figured it up for you, Gina. And if you buy just regular Walmart applesauce for in the jars and then put it in your own little cups, it's six cents an ounce. Yeah, so here it is, $3.12, but you are paying 16 cents an ounce, three times the price for little squeezy things. 
Now, you're pretty good with your money. So if this is a convenience item that it really makes your life easier, then go for it. But just so you know, you are paying three times the amount over buying regular applesauce at the store. So I like to have at least, and I don't know if they're the cheapest here. Sometimes I check, like price check with the Walmart app. This one and this one, they look like they're the same, except one has a pop top. That sounds better to me. So I'm gonna get the pop top. Oh, and then fire roasted diced. I'm gonna get a couple, maybe, I have one. Should I get three? Yes. And then, I don't see crushed. Oh, there they are. So that is this whole box. I had to rearrange my cart. I am getting a tomato paste because I only have one and it's in the freezer. Looks like the fire roasted diced are actually on a sale, like 10% off. And the organic is on a sale, but I don't buy that, so <laughs> I don't need that. Turkey pepperoni. That is on sale. Looks like something my husband can have. I make like salmon patties with this. And diced tomatoes. So you only have one can. I feel like you need two every time you make a recipe. Now we're to the oats. I leave the quick cut oats because those, if you put hot water on them, they pretty much just melt yep. and you don't even have to boil the water. You can just put tap, hot tap water on them and they will be edible and decent, I should say. And I you can make instant usually oatmeal. like scan the cereal section. Like the raisin bran doesn't look too bad as far as price goes, but I don't normally buy unless it's pretty cheap, as you, you probably saw. Uh, trail mix bars and dipped bars. Those are actually 50 cents off. That's tempting. But they don't keep in the car and I don't, I don't like to pack them in lunches. <laughs> Ooh, the ham is $3.99. I'm probably gonna, yeah, that's $1.80 off. There's gonna be some ham sandwiches happening at this house. I'm gonna only get two because, well, I guess they do freeze. Maybe I should get five. That's probably most of the meat I'm gonna buy this time because my main meat store is not having my meat on a sale that I just wanna go to. So uh, the chicken is bone in and I don't really care for bone in and it's still more expensive per pound than the boneless that are in my freezer. So. I'm totally passing on that. Non-dairy whipped topping, a dollar. <gasps> My husband will be so happy. Wow. I'm oh, I'm jealous. Okay, one I'm of each. <laughs> Maybe I should just get one. I don't know how long they'll keep. Almond or coconut. Oh, it is. That's a treat for him. I don't normally buy that unless it's like Thanksgiving or Christmas. Pizza dough is on sale, but we make our own with our bread machine. I don't know, should I? I'm thinking about buying juice to use up that green thing in my fridge. This is $3 for the grape juice. So I'm gonna buy the one. Hopefully I can use up that green powder in my fridge before my kids steal my juice. <laughs> Cause that's how I, I normally go. I buy a bottle to use it up. They drink my juice before I can drink the green stuff. Three dollars for the Italian sausage. Six dollars for the big pack. Sometimes we make bratwurst. Ooh, these sausage links are two twenty-nine. We have one in the fridge freezer. I may get one more. They're delicious. <laughs> I don't know where to put them. <laughs> cream cheese is on sale, but I already have some. So is sour cream. Hmm. Let's see if I missed something. There is bacon, but it's not a good enough deal for me to buy it. Yet. We already have yogurt. <laughs> ah, yes, the milks. Let's see. 
these are not, I don't buy this coconut milk, even though it's cheaper than the Walmart one because it has added sugar. And uh, let's see. I don't see, oh, there's the lactose free milk. So I'm gonna get a bunch of those. I'm probably gonna stop recording so I can get like five. Okay, so now to save on this, what she could do is get enzymes like we talked about in her first video. But what they do is the, the enzymes just break down the lactose so you can digest it better. And all they do is put in the enzymes into the milks already for you. So you might try finding another pill to see if that will work. Now, if you want to make your own homemade lactose-free milk. All you have to do is just get regular milk, get the enzymes, stir it into the milk, let it sit for 24 hours, and then you will have lactose-free milk. It is definitely worth the savings to at least try and see if that will work for you. Because if you take the risk and it does try, and it does, if you take the risk and try it and it does work, you will save hundreds of dollars on your milk. If you lose 10 bucks buying the enzymes in the milk and it doesn't work, well, okay, you're not out of anything. Your other kids can drink the milk, but it is definitely worth trying. All right, and then I may get, can't decide between the half gallon or the full. I think I'll get a full for my kids who can drink this milk because I can always freeze the extra, but also because there's a little bit of cereal left and I know it'll get used in there. Um, the eggs are $1.23 here. It's actually cheaper to buy them by the five dozen at Walmart. That's super good that she knows it's cheaper to go get her eggs at, at Walmart instead of Aldi. That is wonderful for knowing your prices and not being store, what, dedicated to just one store. It is worth the extra time to go to the extra stores to get the savings on your milk and eggs and meats. It really does pay in the long run. Um, and I don't let buy a lot of the frozen stuff here, but I do see some red tags. So I'm gonna check them out before I head to the checkout. That says $10 for wings, but I think that's like three. How many pounds is that? Four pounds, it's pricey. It's 250 a pound. I'm not buying that. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. What do we got here? <sighs> Shrimp. Nope. Um, I think that's about it for Aldi. They do have some... Oh, I forgot about the ground beef. So I do get my ground beef in the freezer section at Aldi right now. It looks like they're way back there, so I'm going to have to get in and reach. And occasionally I buy ground turkey and cut the beef with the turkey. So I think we're out of the turkey. I didn't see any in the chest freezer when we went. So uh, let's see, one, two of those. And then I'll buy a big thing of ground beef. I think it's three pounds. And uh, yeah, that's it for Aldi. Okay, so she spent $229 at Aldi. That's actually not too bad for what she was getting fairly good. I mean, she could cut out a few things like the nuts and the applesauce packets and ground beef. She could probably get on sale at her one grocery store that has the sales, but I don't know. That's kind of iffy. I don't know much about that store, how often their beef goes on sale. So she may not be able to, I'm not totally sure. So I found out Dollar General is having a clearance sale. So um, I'm going to pick up a pie. Okay. Oops, spaghetti for a dollar five, two pounds. Can't That's a good deal. That. So, let's see. That one's ripped. <laughs> Not me. I didn't do it. <laughs> There's more in the bins below. Oh, I might get that if my husband can eat it, because that's a good deal. Nope, he can't, because it's peanuts. I need that. Let's see. 
75 cents. And that's worth it. 45 cents a can. Definitely worth it. Wow, they've got some great deals. We need to get through. I'm sorry. Ah. Can soup. It's a good quick lunch. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to get several. So, and I may get some of these if I can eat them. Because that's not a bad deal for a whole lunch, I think. So, I'm going to get a few things here. So, these are a dollar, I think. Let me see if I can pull them out. Yeah, they're a dollar. Wow, that's so a good So, I got deal. a couple of those because they will keep fairly well in the fridge for a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, you can free them too. Some of the stuff I'm passing on, um, just because either we don't eat it or it's pretty pricey even with the 50% off. Let's see what we got here. And I don't buy them if they're dented. Um, so not sure if there's anything else. I don't see a price on those. So it's hard to tell if those are really a good deal, but yeah, that's what I'm getting. Um, so far, I did pick up a few of these, like quite a few, but they're actually for my mom. So, uh, most of us probably wouldn't eat them. I did get a, some for the kids, but I don't know how well they'll like them, but I know my mom will like them. So, so I didn't eat breakfast at home, so I am going to get something here because <laughs> I am hungry. So, I'm thinking... Better than the drive through Maybe pistachios or raisins or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, I think I'm sure. For these shells. Salt and pepper. No thanks. <laughs> Roasted. Yes. Those are good. And then let's see. I need a second item. Ooh, raisins. Those are a dollar. And then I'm gonna find a coffee, I hope. Or something with caffeine that's not crazy expensive. I didn't see anything. So I'm gonna go back to the coffee area with the little Starbucks stand. That's what I'm thinking. So I didn't find anything I could drink in the Starbucks stand. I'm gonna get a banana too go with my nuts and uh, strawberry. Just the one. <laughs> so, and I'm going to try to see if I can find a different drink that would work for me. So we shall see. <laughs> Diet Coke it is. Some coffee and some cumin. I'm excited about those because all of these are half off. And I'm going to go check out Okay, she did a really good job there. I think the dollar um, general and family dollar are way underrated. People are upset because they're moving into all these different places, but you know what? There's a reason because it's good, inexpensive food that you can get fairly easily and fairly cheaply in poor areas of the country or towns. And so I think it's a great place to be able to pick up some staples. No, you're not going to get your fruits and vegetables or your fresh fruits and vegetables. I totally get that. But, you know, it's a good place to find some staples for fairly inexpensive. So I think she's doing a great job by going to Dollar General also, especially in a town where Walmart is king and you don't really have many choices. Headed into Walmart with my list. Corn is on sale. I think we're gonna get some corn. It's just not really a sale, but I have those ribs in the freezer and I think I'm gonna have my husband cook them out. So we usually get between six to 12 ears. We like to have leftovers because he cooks them on uh, the barbecue grill. So I think that's great that first of all, they're using their leftovers. Good job that you're not just wasting food. So I'm super impressed with the leftovers, but also she's planning on the things that she's buying around what she already has. She's not just going and buying for that meal. So good job using up what you already have in the freezer. Sometimes, ooh, the squash. I love a good side of squash. 
Hmm. I'll get a couple of these. And then let's see if I can get a, ooh, a red onion. We dice those and put them on salads or eat them on uh, burgers, stuff like that. And I should have gotten burger buns in my last shop, but I didn't. So I'll pick it back here. Ooh. Carrots. Five pounds for four dollars. This will last us a month. So it really they yeah, really good deal. Hold up. I'm gonna get a couple of these zucchini. I'm thinking stir fry them in the pan with a little oil. They're really good that way. I have not weighed those, so I really don't know what I'm spending, and I have to track more carefully at Walmart because I really will overspend at Walmart if I am not careful. Yeah, I'm not sure how much these are. <laughs> They're usually about two to three dollars for a three pound bag, so I'm not worried enough to look it up. I'm just gonna assume maybe that's a bad idea, but that's what I do. I am gonna grab some salad. And I buy the big box of spring mix because it's $5. If I buy the small bags, they're like three, but I end up going through more than two a week. And so it doesn't make sense. And if I buy the little boxes, they don't last either. So I just buy the big one. Even though we don't use it up, we'll use more than if I bought the small bags. So it's about the same price and I get all the salad I want. <laughs> Okay, I hate to tell you not to be buying salad, but those boxes are pretty expensive. So $5 for one pound. The thing is, you can get romaine three hearts for $2.74, and that's about one to two pounds. So that's significantly cheaper. And if you go and get the iceberg, then that is $1.88, and that's one to two pounds. So about one, one and a half pounds. So Lettuce is lettuce. I know that they say that some lettuces are more healthy than other lettuces, but you know, really it's very significant, the amount of nutrients that are different. So I would get the other lettuces. I would get romaine or iceberg and cut it up and make your own lettuces. Also cut it up and make your own salads. Also, if you keep your lettuce in the original wrapper, mom had this tip that I thought was great. I didn't know about it till just a few months ago. That if you keep your lettuce, if you store your lettuce in the, your iceberg lettuce and your romaine in the original packaging, it won't go brown and it'll last three times as long as out of the package. I actually did a test showing it and it, she's right, it works. And guacamole, here I come. Some yeah, spicy for my husband. That's $8. <laughs> That's pretty expensive. So just to give her perspective, it's $4.18 to make homemade guacamole or $0.34 cents an ounce. But if she buys avocados, she gets about five ounces of usable avocado in the $0.86. Cents. And so if she made her own homemade, then that would cost her... $2.58 versus $4.18. And that's with regular priced avocados. If she got the avocados on sale, it would be about 50 cents to a dollar, depending on how much she paid, paid for them on sale. So it'd be 50 cents to a dollar versus $4.18 if she finds the avocados on sale, portions them up, and freezes them. So what I would do is definitely make up homemade guacamole and then Keep those little packets as you're using them right now while you're finding them on sale. And then you can just put the cups in a sandwich bag, seal the sandwich bag, and you have perfect portion sizes. All those chocolate and caramel syrups. That's 5.1 cents an ounce. I don't know where the other ice cream is. Oh my goodness, I think they're out. So, oh, there's the vanilla bean, 2.67. I'm just gonna get the little one. Maybe I should get the big one. That's not that much more. These, this is really good. 
Yeah, we really like that one too. Sometimes I'll peek down an aisle and see if it has clearance tags, but if I don't see them, I don't go down the aisle. Good job. I buy some to go with the bananas to make smoothies. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, strawberries are 250 a pound and blueberries. I don't know. Two something, maybe three. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be the strawberries. Ten dollars. I have plenty of frozen veggies, so I'm not buying those overall. Except my favorite is the California style. I may get two of these. They're a dollar twenty. Oh, those vegetables are a good deal. Yeah. I am buying them as an ice pack. So when my kids get injured, I put these on them. <laughs> and uh, it is what it is. Maybe that shouldn't be part of the food shop, but it is. <laughs> that Cholula, there it is. They don't have the big bottles. No, take it a small one. That is $4. So for five ounces, let's not talk about that. Great on eggs. <laughs> the picante sauce. That is eight and a half cents an ounce. It is so good. I get the mild, so my kids will eat it too. Sometimes I check out the meat section to see if there are any good deals on meat, like markdowns for meat that I don't have. Because <laughs> I've got quite a bit, but. I like to keep a little bit of everything in stock so we can make up our mind that night. And I don't like steaks that are brown. I know they're probably safe, but I don't eat them. Yeah, I don't either. I don't buy any meat that's brown. It may be safe, but I don't even want to take chances. These are $9 a pound. That's why I'm passing that up. That's not coming home with me. I don't spend that much on meat. These tenderloins are still $9 a pound, so again, that is staying here. So I get these cheeses, the $7.50 for two pound. I usually get the shark because if I get the bigger bags over there, we run out just the same amount of time as the little bag. We'll just put a handful of cheese instead of a pinch of cheese on something. So I learned the hard way by the smaller bag of cheese. That's an excellent tip. Yeah. And I need I agree. Six cheese. Because I think we're going to make grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup and I bought that ham. So I definitely need something to make sandwiches with. So I'm going to get the sliced cheddar. I may, may should buy two of them. I don't know. Because with there's six of us, that's only four times of making everybody a sandwich. Let's see. Four dollars. Slice cheese. Yep. Alright. Eggs are next. See, that's the kind of thing, if I run out, I'll just go buy it instead of waiting. I can't find my elk. There are my eggs. They're on the top. <laughs> And you can see they are six dollars for six dozen, five dozen. I can't pass that up, yeah, so I don't. Good. I buy two boxes. Eggs are in the cart. Oh, that was twelve dollars. I almost forgot to add it up. Let's see. Um, I'm just kind of keeping a tally here, and I'll add it up before I go to the register and see. And I needed coconut milk the kind I didn't get at Aldi. Let's see where it is. Walmart is busy today. So, I think I see it. Nope. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Okay. And it's $4 for that and we'll get five. Now we're on the bake. Okay, so on the coconut milk. You can make your own in our gluten-free, dairy-free cookbook, but 
it is not cheaper to make homemade coconut milk versus store-bought. Now, if you need an emergency so you don't have to run to the store then and you have coconut on hand, then go ahead and make it. But I did the figures and it's actually not cheaper to make it homemade. But what you could do is like we talked about in your last video, make homemade oat milk. And if you like that as well, then that is significantly cheaper. You could do that for about 25 cents for um, a half a gallon versus three to five dollars for a half a gallon, depending on which milk you're getting. In our gluten-free, dairy-free edition, we've got almond, cashew, rice, and coconut milk all in here. So that if you want to make those homemade, rice milk is another super cheap dairy alternative. Oat milk, Dining on a Dime cookbook, page. 316 we've got rice cashew and coconut in here and almond so we have all of them if you guys need them so which one's the oat milk oh okay sorry. right there okay got my water now i'm adding my oats whoops oh dear didn't mean to do that okay this is not an exact science now for sugar-free, leave out the sugar. If you want sugar, you can put a tablespoon in there. Okay. Then you've got that. Doesn't that look yummy? Okay, let me find my strainer just a second. I like my oat milk a little thicker and hot <laughs> with brown sugar in Raisins. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a thing Do you guys see what I have to live with here? Do you see what I have to live with? <laughs> okay. Hey, we're focusing. We are focusing. Okay. So then you're going to strain it through the strainer, just like so. Now, guys, this costs like 25 cents versus three to four dollars okay so is this worth it i definitely think it is you may not think it is but i think for 25 cents instead of three dollars four dollars it's definitely worth it i mean it depends on where you buy it but that's here in wyoming where it costs that much so then just let it straighten now don't push it through because the pulp will come through but just let it drip just like so and what I do is I put it back in there and then I let it drip just a little bit more and you can let this drip till it's all gone if you want I don't usually wait that long but just let it sit there then you can use it right away or put it in the refrigerator it might separate so you'll need to shake it up but you have to do that with the store-bought stuff too so that's how you make homemade oat milk for 25 cents Okay, so one cup of gluten-free oats. So I already know that I put one cup in here, so I'm just gonna pour the whole thing in there. There we go. And then, half a cup of brown sugar. I haven't had muffins for a while, so I think I'm going to make them gluten-free and just not tell the boys that they're gluten-free. <laughs> you guys want to see banana cake? There's one of the recipes, banana cake, dining on a dime, volume one, and our gluten-free, dairy-free cookbook. Okay, baking powder. Okay, 
egg. Vegetable oil. And raisins if you want, but the boys don't like raisins. Let's see, what am I forgetting? Oh yeah, dairy-free milk. So what I'm gonna do is just use slightly less milk because there's already a little bit of moisture in there. So I'm gonna start with half. See what it looks like. I don't remember. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a little bit more just in case. Okay. Do as I say, not as I do. All right. Just follow the recipe, unlike me. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now I'm going to put it in muffin cups. Okay. I'm going to use my silicone just for something fun and different. Oops. raisins in a couple because I like raisins. Okay, they are out of the oven and I forgot to smoosh the raisins in, but that's okay. Ooh, they're super hot. Oh, very hot. Okay, I'm gonna let these cool and then I'll taste test one. Okay, so I've been cutting down on grains so I haven't had too much of stuff like this lately, but I'm gonna taste test it because I haven't had one for a really long time. Mm. Oh, yum. So it's really be good if you sprinkled cinnamon and sugar on top also. Oh, yum. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. These taste just like regular muffins. No tasting like sand, guys. These don't taste like sand. They actually taste like muffins. Oh, so good. Mm -mm -mm. Um, last is electrolytes. So. I usually get the powdered drink packets that are great value. I am not seeing them. It seems like a lot of stuff is out today. Oh, it's over here. But it looks like these are 242 for 10, but I'm seeing some clearance. So now I'm getting excited. These are $2 for 10. I'm totally getting that one. I wish there were more because I really love these. LM, I think it's the same kind. So um, do I need them? Possibly. They do make me feel better some days. I don't know why. It just seems to help. And then Okay, so it's not your imagination that they do help. Um, electrolytes are known to help people have energy when they're not processing or have enough electrolytes anyway. And so I'm on them myself. But what I get is the electrolyte drops like these here. This, instead of spending 40 cents for each glass of water that you put the electrolytes in, you'll be spending pennies. I mean, it's super, super cheap. I would get the electrolyte drops and then just get something like Kool-Aid. You can flavor it with artificial sweetener if you don't want sugar, um, but you can put them in your tea. You can just put them in your water. You can put them in juice, anything like that, but they are significantly cheaper. And if you drink them a lot, that will be a big savings for you. And I like to keep powdered Gatorade on hand. I have a son that he mows lawns and it can get up to like a hundred and something around here. So the same thing with the Gatorade. He can just do Kool-Aid with the electrolytes. Gatorade's pretty expensive. But I did go and calculate and the packets versus Gatorade is about the same. So if you're buying the packets or the pre-made stuff, it is about the same as the packets. So I keep that on hand. Um or for like stomach flu. And I like that I can make a little better a lot at a time, but it feels crazy to spend $10 on Gatorade because we are not a sports team. That will last us between six months and a year. It just depends on 
how many lawns get mowed to be real but yeah that's eleven dollars um and on that if he's mowing and getting paid for it he can start spraying for his own gatorade i know i'm a horrible mother <laughs> and then two dollars for my little powder drink packets um yeah we just want i don't know it's just what it is i guess for now maybe uh You've got some ideas for me to help lower that cost because that is not uh, cheap. Ooh, these are $1.77. I don't think I'll get any of those. Sometimes I'll buy something if it's on clearance, even though it's not something we regularly buy, just because it's like a treat for the kids and, Very good. you know, or me or my husband. So that's what I do. And this particular Listen, it's okay to have treats for stuff like this. A lot, I'm not saying Gina's doing this, but a lot of parents think that the cookies or the drinks or the Capri Suns or the juice boxes, whatever, is a normal food that we always eat. No, those are treats. My kids never got those unless they were treats for holidays, specifically Easter and Christmas, they would get them. But other than that, my kids really didn't at all get those kinds of things. So make it a treat and keep it a treat and the kids will appreciate it more. Walmart does not have a food clearance section other than bakery and I am trying to stay away from all the breads <laughs> because I love bread but bread doesn't love me back so I think that's oop, raisins I forgot the raisins so those have to go in the cart I put them in school lunches and I meant to get them at Aldi and I didn't so I usually go through at least two packs of them they they keep in the car too even in the heat so i will put six in the car as like a if the kids are hungry um snack versus driving through the drive through <laughs> okay so on the raisins <laughs> this is definitely a place that you could cut by buying the little packages, little boxes, those are 34 cents each. They're an ounce each. But if you buy the large package of raisins and put them in little containers yourself, that will be 20 cents each. So that can be a significant savings over time. And then just put them in the little sandwich bags, store them in the car, they'll store just as fine. That is one area where you can save. There is a seasoning blend I'm looking for. I don't see it. It's called Cavenders. Never heard of it. And if they don't have it, I'm not buying anything else. There's nothing like it. So. Okay, somebody in the comments, tell me what that is and what you use it for. I have never heard of that before. <laughs> it's a Greek seasoning and it is amazing. And they are out. <laughs> or I don't even see a spot for it, which scares me because it's the best stuff. Okay, after she said it was a Greek seasoning, I was like, wait a minute, I got that recipe in our Dining on a Dime cookbook. Now, I don't know if it's the same one, but it's the Greek seasoning on page 337. So if you guys try it, let me know if it tastes similar to the same because I've never heard of that other one that she mentioned, but let me know how you use it. I would use it in sandwiches for pitas, that kind of thing. But let me know how you would use your Greek seasoning. Let me see. Okay. Basil. Still need basil. Um, basil, basil, basil. Basil. Those are $1.12. Let me throw that in the cup. Still needing the uh, baking soda. Oh my goodness, it's 92 cents. I'm dead. It's coming home. Either way. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta get it. <laughs> I didn't remember it at all week, so I've been, been there and done that. Get purchased there. All right, next. Skip the cereal aisle. Oops, 
bread. Just what I needed. Because I forgot hamburger buns. Yep, I hate. It's better than eating out, so I'm okay with that. Oh yeah, we have hamburger buns. Because they were in the freezer. Yeah, I'm not getting them. I forgot I had them. Let's see. Gummy bears. And butter. <laughs> Gummy bears? Normally, I don't always go through my stuff as thoroughly as I did this time, but I did because I needed to record it. So, ooh, gummy worms. I don't know, that's eight ounces. These are, these $1.50 gummy bears are how I bribe my kids. <laughs> You heard it here. <laughs> anyway. Hey, bribery is good. I'm okay with that. Apparently, most of them will clean their entire bedroom, do all of their homework for a gummy bear. It's fine. Go for it. Maybe I shouldn't get two. One is good, right? Two, two. We're going to get two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Eggs and butter. All right, I'm going back. I don't need to go down the rest of the candy aisle. Things will happen. <laughs> they leap into the cart. It's amazing how they leap into cart, isn't it? So, I like to have a backup thing of butter, but that... No, it says butter spread. Or is that... That's weird. Okay. I can't tell. I just want the individual pound. Not half a pound. I'm not seeing it anywhere. I'm not. I just don't know where it's at. Not these are the twin packs but I don't want the twin pack I just want the single so I guess I'll skip that for now so I forgot that at Aldi too I am gonna get this plant-based butter that's the same that we always get I like to have a pound in the freezer okay so like I said earlier if she buys butter on sale for two dollars or 250 a pound which she may or may not be able to do since she's limited to only two or kind of three, but basically two grocery stores in her town. She may or not may not be able to get butter for cheaper. If she can get butter for about $2, 250 a pound and make homemade ghee, that is a better dairy-free alternative, or I should say cheaper, not necessarily better, but just cheaper dairy-free alternative. Now you do have to do a little bit of work, but it's really not hard. That was $4. Um, and we like it because it really tastes like butter for my husband um, or as close as he can remember it tasting. <laughs> okay, so here is the plant-based butter for one pound is $3.98 right there. $3.68 is a pound of regular butter at Walmart. Now, if she can get it on sale for $2.50 or $2. It would be cheaper, but that's only if she can find it on sale. And she only has basically one grocery store to shop sales at, and it's okay. I wouldn't say it's great, but it's okay. So that might be a better alternative to make the ghee if she can get the butter for um, cheaper. Okay. So it looks like she spent $128 at Walmart you know, I mean, really, for the amount of food that she got, that's actually pretty good. So I'm okay with what she spent on Walmart. There I would say my biggest struggles are um, getting into ruts. So we eat a lot of spaghetti and a lot of tacos, and I'm just kind of tired of them. <laughs> uh, but we keep doing it because they're quick and they're easy, and I always have the ingredients on hand. And I feel like I want to keep having the same ingredients. I just don't want to make the same dinners, if that makes sense. Um, and I also feel that one of our biggest struggles is when we're trying to get out of the ruts of tacos and spaghetti and things like that, it ends up being really expensive. And so I'll buy, you know, we'll make a lot of tacos and spaghetti and then I will buy ridiculous ingredients like salmon <laughs> or something and just, you know, I'm trying to bust out of the rut, but I don't know what to do with it. And I feel like, you know, when you go to like a potluck or something, 
you see so many different dishes that like people make and it tastes amazing and I'm just like I need better I don't know I need to like learn better recipes or just like spend some time on it um, because I'm not doing that right now and so that's kind of my thoughts another thing we do whenever we um, get in those ruts is we tend to uh, eat out if I'm like oh I cannot go back home and eat spaghetti one more time um, then I'm driving through someplace and so I think those are the things I'm battling against I've also I have not done this portion of my shop but I buy a lot of milk and I know I know but like when you watch the shows when I watch the live shows <laughs> I think about you know I don't know excessiveness and I don't apply it to my actual personal reality so uh that's gonna be fun <laughs> but anyway uh i am off to do more shopping so what i'm gonna say before we get to the last store that she goes to which is actually very interesting most people don't think to stop at this shop at this store but to help her with her two main problems the rut and the milk okay first of all you're just gonna have to cut back on the milk i would make some oat milk from dining on a dime, at least for your baking, that would be cheaper. Now, I don't know how much milk the kids are drinking, but you are buying a lot of milk. And so I would cut out all drinking of milk, except for maybe one glass a day, I guess. But if you're eating it on cereal and in other things, you're getting plenty of dairy that you don't need to be adding just drinking milk to that. Now, as for the rut, Diana and Dime Volume 1, on page 11, we have menus from Dining on a Dime. And we have one, two, three, four, five, five pages of menus, okay? And they're all sorted out. So we've got it between um, poultry, breakfast, poultry, beef, pork, meatless, and mis miscellaneous. What I would do is sit down and pick out 10 meals from one of those lists that you have not made ever. And don't make any of your rut stuff <laughs> for at least a month, okay? So pick out 10 meals and then rotate those for 10 days and then pick out 10 more meals and then rotate that. That'll get you about a month and a half, two months worth of meals. But that way, you're not cooking the same things over and over again. Every 10 days is not too much to have tacos. When you're having it every other day, and believe me, I've been there, <laughs> that's where the rut starts feeling pretty rough. But if you go to our website, if those aren't enough recipes, we have tons of menus that mom May, has made out on our website, just type in menu, just go to the recipe section, you'll type in the menus. And we have tons and tons of meal plan ideas. Just go through, they're all with basic ingredients you have on hand so that you're not going and buying specialty ingredients just to get yourself out of a rut. And you're just going to have to sit down. Now, I know right now is a really bad time, but you know, maybe if you're, as you're sitting at the hospital or something waiting you could take your book and then that'll give you something productive to do while you're sitting there. I know when I've had to sit at, you know, at the hospital for um, several weeks on end with a family member and, you know, I had my book, but something like that kind of helped me through, believe it or not, just because it kind of got my mind off of it, even though I was still there, but it kind of got my mind off of it for just a little bit, just to give me just a little bit of a reprieve. And then when I got back into it, I was a little bit refreshed. I know that sounds crazy, but sometimes just getting your mind off of the problems really helps. And so then using the menus, you'll be solving another problem, which is being in a rut. And I totally get it. You know, we end up making the same things over and over. And then I have to really force myself to start cooking other stuff again. So I get it. So what can Gina do? Well, she can cut out the guacamole. She can cut out the electrolytes. She can cut out the little apple sauces. She can cut out the raisins and all the electrolyte stuff, which is Gatorade stuff. Um, the blueberries, 
and cut some milk. Now, if she cut out all those things or replaced them with something else, she could probably save about a hundred to $200 a month on her grocery bill. The milk alone is probably running. She could probably cut about $50 just on the milk alone. So if she gets all those things cut out, then she could lower her grocery bill. But here's the caveat. <laughs> She's actually doing really, really well. She has a few convenience items and this was filmed before she had a family emergency happen. And now that this family emergency has happened, I honestly would not stress out about it. And you are just going to have to do what you have to do. If you need to buy frozen pizzas, frozen TV dinners or whatever to get everybody through. So you're not eating out every single night. <laughs> you know, I would do that. And I would be sure to get paper plates and extra napkins. Napkins can be used for sandwiches. Plates can be used for, you know, bigger for bigger meals. That way you're not doing extra dishes. Get you some crock pot liners possibly for um, the crock pot. Although you may not even be able to do that much at this point. So do what you need to do to survive. I actually think you are doing really, really well. And I appreciate how thorough you were with your grocery shopping and showing us your pantry. Oh my goodness, it was great to see how stocked up you are and how prepared you really are. So Gina, you are doing a great job. Thank you so much. You will get a $100 gift certificate to our store to buy anything you want. If you guys would like to do a grocery audit, please go down to the link in the description below. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if your pantry is a pit please send it. So first of all, other people can feel encouraged that they're not the only ones and we can maybe help give you some tips to get organized and to save money. So even if you think it's a pit, even if you think there's absolutely nothing I can do like we did with Ashley on a couple of shows ago, hey, she is an inspiration. That gal has it together and I was inspired by seeing how she only spends a dollar and some change a day eating for herself, a vegan diet. I mean, she's just nailing it. So I will link that if you guys want to see how she eats for a dollar a day, but she had some really great tips. Even if you're not vegan, she had some really great stuff in there showing how she saves money and only eats on a dollar. So please go watch that video next. Visit us at livingonadime.com. We will see you guys next time.